Hi and welcome. So I decided in my wisdom that following work I was going to go and have a little impromptu shop at Morrison's. So I had been in the office all day, decided that I really didn't have a lot of things in uh, the, the cupboards and the fridge. So I wanted to try and get a few little bits and pieces. I particularly wanted to get something for tea because I've got some mashed potatoes there uh, in the fridge and I wanted something quick and easy to go with them after a long day in the office. So I decided I would leave work at five o'clock, which I normally do if I'm in the office, and I would go to Morrison's and I'd arrive there about 5.45. Let's go and have a look and see what happened when I did that impromptu visit to Morrison's. This is an impromptu visit to Morrison's. Um, I decided while I was at work, I really needed to get some groceries. So I've just pulled up in the car park after a day at work um, and I'm just going to go in and see what there is. So I've no idea yet whether we're doing yellow stickers, whether we're doing buy one, get one free offers, whether we're just doing general groceries. I don't need a great deal. I do need things like sort of cold meat for sandwiches. I haven't sort of got any main meals, I've got some veg, so we'll see what we get. Let's go in and have a look. I'm at Morrison's today because it's so easy for me. So let's go and have a look and see what they have got. Here's the bread. Let's have a look and see what they've got. See if they've got any nice deals. That looks like a really good deal. I think I'll have one of those. And then I think I'll have one of these as well to put in the freezer. That looks like a really good deal. That's really cheap at 14 pence. I found these two chicken breasts from the hot counter. They look really nice. Reduced to £1.63 I think that's quite a good deal I love this aisle um, it's really odd because it's just a mixture of things that you know are, are reduced they've got things with you know like a coke can missing or something like that or maybe it's a box of cereal that's a bit bashed not necessarily out of date but just the oddments of things that they can't really sell at full price um, I'm not going to buy anything from here today but I do quite like this aisle. I think it's really interesting. I do like um, a chocolate biscuit with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. So I have to choose which ones I'm going to have really. Um, these penguins look like quite a good deal. So I think I'll have some of those. Quite tempted with those toffee crisp biscuits as well. I love a toffee crisp, but I'm not going to go for them today. Those lemon muffins look like a good deal, £1.50. I don't know whether that's a good price or not, but I'm going to have some of those. Just looking at all the ham, there's an awful lot of different hams to choose from. Um, and I'm looking for the one that is £1.39 and I can't actually find that on the shelf. Uh, I think it was um, wafer thin ham, couldn't find it. So I ended up with uh, something that was £1.75 I think, but that was okay. So two um, dips, sort of hummus and sour cream dip, etc. Two for two pounds, thought that was quite good. I've never had marifat peas for a long, long time. So I'm going to treat myself, I might have those for my tea with that chicken. Sixty-nine pence for tomatoes, not bad. Uh, I think I'll have some of those. Now these little bags of salad are two for £1.20 but I don't really need two because I'm by myself but it's still a nice little bargain at 89 pence. I think I'll just get one of those. It's not a bad deal on honey. I do need some honey. I like it on my toast or in my cooking. There's three lots to choose from. So I'm just randomly going to choose the dark one. I'm 
Mm, I always take a while to make my mind up with cheese. Um, I'm a bit of a cheese lover, so I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to have a big slab or go for something that's a little bit more expensive maybe, but with a nice flavour. Um, and there's some nice looking red Leicester that I think I'm going to go for. One of my favourites is potato salad. I love it with uh, a salad itself or a jacket potato or something like that or fish cakes or whatever. I'm going to have one of those. I always get a little bit bewildered in the chocolate aisle. Uh, I really adore chocolate. I think I've got a relationship with it. And I just stand there sometimes and look at it all and think, what am I going to choose? I don't eat a great deal, but I do have a couple of squares of something most nights. So I just like to stand and have a look and see. So well, there we are, I've just come out of Morrison's. Well, it was a bit of a, I won't say a bit of a disappointment, but there again, the thing is, and you will know when you do your shopping, that there are certain times when you can get the bargains. And unfortunately for me, when I finish work, I have got about a 45 minute journey um, if I'm in the office. And that means I don't get here till about, 5 45 p.m usually all of the yellow stickers have gone they usually put them on the shelf at about five just after five o'clock and if i can get here for then i do usually manage to get some stuff you will know where your when you know when your stores put their own bargains on they're all different aren't they um but this little one here a lot of things have gone by the time you know i get back from the office Anyway, I did manage to get a few things. I made a little plan in my head. So once I get home, I'll get the stuff put out on the table and we'll have a look and see what I got. I spent just over £20 and I think I went um, over 20 because I bought a carrier bag and I don't normally do that. I normally have one with me, but because I've come straight in from work and, and, I've, not, and I've not really planned, um, then I didn't uh, have my bags with me. So it wasn't that I was on a budget. I didn't say I was going to spend only 20, but I think I would have been under the 20 pounds if I'd not bought that carrier bag. Let's go home and have a look and see what I got. Right, oh, here we are back in the tiny kitchen. Um, let's have a look at what we got. We spent just over 20 pounds. It cost me 20 pounds and oh, a few pence. I can't remember how much, but the carrier bag pushed me over. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It was twenty pounds and sixty eight, so it would have been in twenty pounds, twenty pounds and eight, without the carrier bag. Uh, so I did get some chocolate. Um, I got some Morrison's own mint chocolate. I got some dairy milk and I got some um, penguins. Let me just tell you how much all those were. The penguins were one pound for seven. The mint chocolate was £1.85 and the Cadbury's dairy milk was £1.65. Uh, no doubt you will say that you're not on a budget if you can afford it, chocolate. But for me, chocolate and a little biscuit is an essential. If I don't have them, I'm just going to go around the co-op and buy stuff or I'm going to go to Greg's when I'm at work. Um, so I've accepted that those are part of what I have. I got some muffins, lemon muffins at £1.50 for four. They were... Not on the stickers, but they were on a reduction. I think they were £2 normally or something. So I got some bread that was on a sticker. Let's have a look. A nice Hovis, which has gone down to 38 pence from one fifty. That Half of that will get frozen, half it will get used. And I got a second bread. This was only 14 pence. I'm really sorry, I have got that upside down. This was only 14 pence reduced from 70. This is a Coburg cob and that will freeze and I'll probably do something like a pizza base with that or a garlic bread to go with um, either some salad if it's a pizza base or I've got some moussakas and some chilies in the fridge, in the freezer, sorry. So I may be making, you know, some garlic bread to go with that. We will see. Um, the other things I've got are some honey cured ham some tomatoes 
some salad which was 89 pence i know it says two for 120 but i didn't get the two that would have been a waste of money for me um and by myself it would have gone off by the time if i got two bags uh, i got some cheese some smoldering ember red leicester i got a tin of peas and i got this which was on the yellow sticker which was one pound 63 for some chicken breasts and actually uh that's going to be for me tea so i've got some mashed potatoes in the fridge from yesterday so i'm going to have some chicken breast if there's any of that left it might do for a sandwich tomorrow with a tin of peas i've never had some any processed peas for ages let me just go through I, I also got sorry i also did get some honey which was two pounds and i got some potato salad and some dips uh there so let me go through the costs with you. Um, we've talked about the chocolate. The salad was 89 pence. The tomatoes were 89 pence. The ham was £1.75. The garlic and herb dip was £1.35. The peas were 65 The potato salad was £1.15. The sweet chilli hummus was £1.35, but they, the hummus and the dip were on a, on a deal, so there'll be a reduction um, on that. So I will tell you what that was in a minute. Uh, lemon muffins are one fifty. The cheese was £2.60, a little bit more expensive than I would normally pay, but it looked like a good cheese. The big, the bigger ones, the plainer ones, were a little bit, were a little bit cheaper. Well, they were more expensive, but they were bigger. And I just fancied something a bit tasty and nice. Honey was two pounds, uh, and we've talked about uh, the bread, haven't we? So there was a seventy pence reduction on the dips. So that was it, just under twenty pounds. What I'm going to do with it is, um, I've got some um, baking potatoes in the fridge so there will be jacket potatoes and salad with perhaps ham cheese and some of the dips um and some potato salad that's a nice favorite meal of mine there will obviously be a chicken dinner that's tonight there may be some pizza if i use that cob for a pizza base um and i've got some some there's enough salad there for two or three meals and there's enough stuff there for sandwiches so ham and tomato goes really well doesn't it on sandwiches so i've got some lunches and i've got some little treats and also the muffins i think will go for breakfast for a few days so not a full week shot i have to say um although i think i will be okay for the full week because i do have some things in the freezer so i've got things like moussakas and chilies in the freezer and i've also got pasta and rice in the cupboard that i can use to bulk things out so that's my little haul for today, um, impromptu, but I thought very nice and, and okay, seeing as there wasn't many yellow stickers. Very nice. Um, chicken breast, I've cut that up already. Uh, it's the mashed potato that was left over and probably about two thirds of that tin of peas and some gravy. That's my easy tea for tonight after a busy day at work uh, and in the grocery store. So this is an interesting little lunch. Uh, something I learned in a little cafe in London. So what we've got in here, I'll just show you like that, is some hummus and that's uh, sweet chilli hummus and I've got some, I think it's sour cream and chive dip. There's some pieces of cooked chicken underneath there and then if I just move that out of the way slightly I've got a mixed salad so I've got some lettuce, some tomato and some spring onion and I've sprinkled a little bit of paprika over the top and that will do me for a nice lunch. I've got some tor salty tortillas I'm going to have with, them, with it just to bulk it out a little bit. So that's using up the end of a lettuce that I had last week. It's using up the remainder of the chicken that I got yesterday from the hot counter that was uh, on the deal. And some of the um, dips that I bought yesterday as well. And the new tomatoes and a spring onion that I had left. So there we are. Prom impromptu visit to Morrison's over and done with. Really interesting, I think. 
um when you do an impromptu visit like that you've got to you're not quite sure what you're going to expect um i didn't really expect them to, to be any yellow stickers there it's 5 45 when i get there i know for a fact that in my local morrison's five o'clock or just after is the time when those yellow stickers are going to be available so i really didn't expect to find anything but i really did need to go in there tonight and get something for for tea in particular and i didn't want to have to go another night as well so i thought i'd just pick up some things anyway there we are 20 pounds or thereabouts not too bad a little bit more than i would normally spend i think because i did buy chocolate um i know you won't necessarily buy chocolate so you could perhaps take off two or three pounds for that so you're looking at around about the 16 pound budget there that won't last me the week really but I'm really lucky this week because I've got some things in the freezer. So I've got some chilli and some moussaka that I can use to go with, you know, that bread that I bought. If I make garlic bread out of that. Uh, so that's, you know, it's important to recognise that while you're doing perhaps a 15 to 20 pound shop, it may be that you've got some other things in the freezer. One of the things I do want to do, and I hope you will join me if I do this, is I'd love to do a seven pounds shop. For a challenge and that will be a really big challenge for me and i hope you would join me on that i'm not sure when i'm going to do that it'll have to be on a week where i haven't got any food in because i'm not going to cheat i'm going to do it. this is what i'm eating for the week on seven pounds so please look forward to that so i hope you've enjoyed that i hope you've taken something from that the lesson i think for me is learn when your local shop does their puts their yellow stickers on and try and shop around that if you can it's a bit unfair for some of us who work full time and can't get in there for those bargains but then i suppose it gives the chance for the people who don't work who perhaps don't have a great deal of money and that's fantastic isn't it so i hope you have enjoyed that and it's been absolutely lovely having you with me today and i hope to see you in the next video Bye bye